Hello everybody and welcome back to Watanagashi. So where we last left off, well, the club activity is sympathy, where you have to match the same word and you get more points. My guess is that how it goes when it comes to a topic. So let's uh, continue reading. It, so, it's a side of the rough silence enveloped the room. Okay, it would be fine if somebody at least laughed at me or played it off as something dumb, but nobody even flinched. The feeling in the pit of my stomach reached critical mass, causing my once blood-drained face to flush with a sudden wave of heat. Okay, that made my game lag a bit. So, 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 Sakura can only mean Card Master Sakura, can't it? It's a super popular anime that's broadcast every week on the government run networks. Card. Have I ever heard of it? On the government run networks. Have I heard of this anime before? It's broken through to every demographic from little girls to grown men. You've seen it, haven't you? No, you've definitely seen it. Even I've seen it. Oh boy. Um, yeah, even without the forest explanation, I know about it. Excuse me. I know about it. It's that thingy where she fights in a different costume every week, right? Yeah. I know, I know. Yup, yup. It's cute, isn't it? Reyna sometimes browses through it at the magazine stand to keep up with the story. I saw her for the first time recently. Sakura is cool and so cheerful all the time. I like that girl who's always filming with the camcorder. Oh, Card Master Sakura? Uh, let me see here, hold on. Card... Is this a parody to Card Raptor Sakura? I hope not. Oh, it's Card Captor, not Raptor. <laughs> My bad. I almost butchered it. Butchered it. Uh, always filming with the camcorder. It's not just popular with little girls. It's also surprisingly well received by older boys, isn't it? To think that Keichan was one of those. I felt like I had inadvertently blurted out something unnecessary and had completely self-destructed, but. That wasn't the main problem. So, so you all know it, don't you? Then why didn't you write it down? Sakura means Sakura Kenomoto. Kenomoto. Sakura Tan Pant Pant. Cardmaster Sakura is the right answer. <laughs> Poof. Mian quietly put her hand on my shoulder. Hei-chan, now I am certain. Hei-chan, you are, to your very core, a jeezer. Ir irrevocably so. Gah. Why is everybody looking at me with those eyes filled with pity? But that's not true, Keiji-kun. Okay. Let's do our best. Here's where the comeback begins. There's no coming back for Keiichi-san the Jeezer. Now give up quietly and accept your penalty. What was today's penalty game again? Dressing up as a maid, complete with hair band and garter belt while carrying around the winner's, around the winner's stuff. No. Oh god. 
Alright, if you're real members of this club, show me you won't let anybody come back from this disadvantage. Alright, alright, let's keep it rolling. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why? Why must you do this to me? Alright, what do we got here? <laughs> Whoa, Keiji Kun seems happy. Why? How can this be? <laughs> He's probably awoken to the joys of cross dressing. Ah, Keiji Kun, your hairband is going to fall off. Let me fix that for you. Reina cheerfully adjusted the hairband that had been enshrined upon my head. How does it feel, Keichan? Have you awoken to the pleasures of wearing girls' clothing in front of actual girls? Be honest now. It's alright. We won't laugh. Ah! You jerk! I'm gonna murder you! Swinging Mion's bag about wildly, I chased her in circles for a bit. Today's loser was quickly decided to be me, obviously. When I had been assured of finishing last, Mion showed her true power. She began racking up points with an iron fist. In the end, we didn't even have to add up the score to know who was on top. After that, in the changing room, with much wailing and gnashing of teeth, pushing the boundaries of shame and brutality, I was instructed by Mion on how to put on everything from ribbons to underwear. The damn you, Mion. What do you mean knowing this will come in handy one day? How the bloody hell will a man knowing how to put on a garter belt be useful? Shh. Okay, chan you're too loud. If you stay quiet, you might be able to pass this off as, re as rehearsal for a play. Oh boy. That's right. If I cause a scene here, that they'll find out that I'm wearing woman's clothing right down to the unmentionables. I shuddered from head to toe, resisting the urge to scream. Actually, Keichan, you have really smooth skin. Are you often told that it's easy to apply makeup on you? Saying that, man gent gently rubbed my cheek. Whoa! What kind of man gets praised for being easy to apply makeup on them? How does it feel wearing a head? How does it feel wearing a maid's hairband? Hairband. It really finishes off the look. The hairband is the best part of a maid outfit, after all. Well, what do you mean finishes off the look? Dumbass! Stop teasing me. <laughs> Keiji Kun is embarrassed. Cute. That's right. Men like things like garter belts, right? So how does it feel wearing one yourself? I d d don't really feel anything. Hey, stop it. Don't flip it up. It's tight, isn't it? Can you feel it rub against your skin as you walk? Stop. Don't whisper such strange things in my ear. Ah, oh, my miserable manhood subtly shifted. Eek! You're turning red. You're turning red. Have you finally realized it? That's right. Right now, Kei-chan is exactly the type of maid that every healthy male wants. Stop it, Mion. Really, why do you have to whisper that right in my ear? Have you ever just wanted to hold a maid close to you? Kei-chan, you've currently become one with that maid. Don't you see? That's a distance far closer than mere touch can ever achieve. There, can't you hear that pulse? That breath? m m m m m me chan that's... Oh! On the verge of overheating, a long red line flowed out of Reina's nose, and his freaking a nosebleed, obviously. Putting on makeup properly, making you wear a wig with the straight long hair you like so much, Hey Chan, I've made you into your ideal woman. 
Now you're going to walk around town with me. You'll surely monopolize the eyes of all the men. That would definitely make you feel real, really good, wouldn't it? If only you didn't have this really big thing dangling between your legs, you'd be a real girl. Saying that, she tried to flip my skirt. Wah, this is definitely not the time. I can't let them see me with this male-centric problem. Crash, thud. Before I realized that Raina was caressing my head and rubbing me with her cheek. Keiji kun when you were fidgeting like that, you were s s s super cute. I'm going to take you home. Oh my god, Raina. From the look on your face, you, you, you would take a dude with the maid dress home. Oh god. Peering through Raina's vice-like em embrace, I saw Mian laying spread eagle on her back. I see. This must be what Sotoko and Rika-chan feel like when they become Reina's prey. After that, it took quite some time to calm Reina down from her frenzy. Later, Kei-chan. Today was super enjoyable. <laughs> you will rue this day, Mian. This disgrace shall be returned tenfold. I'll achieve an overwhelming victory, then condemn you to a public shaming. Yeah, <laughs> only if you can beat me. I look forward to seeing you try. Mayon tossed me my clothes and looking in as good a mood as I've ever seen her left. Seen her left, huh? Okay, now. Now that I've been released by Mayon, I can't waste even a second running home. By the way, Reyna isn't as good as Michan, so if we happen to bump into anybody, I won't be able to follow up for you, okay? Soon after that, I went into a full-out dash. I'm pretty sure I was running the 100 m meter in about 6 seconds there. Well then, Keiichi-kun, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. The fact that I didn't bump into anybody I knew was probably divine favor for my constant good behavior. It's been going my way today. At that moment, the front door opened as if somebody was waiting for me. Oh, Keiichi, so you're home. I was just about to go for a walk. I was dumbstruck by how slow my father was to react. A normal per person would have realized a peculiar scene before them around. Oh, Keiichi. Um, Dad, this is, you see, you know that club I'm always talking about? This is one of the penalty games we do there. It just so happened I lost today. My dad placed his hand on my shoulder. It was an oddly moist and uncomfortably warm hand. What the... Keiichi, let's have a little talk in my studio. We'll keep it a secret from Mom, of course. No, no, Dad, let go. Th th there's a show I want to watch right now. Mian, you shall rue this day. His artistic flame raging like wildfire. My dad dragged me along. I disappeared into the depths of the studio. Oh, boy. What else? Keiichi, are you home? Oh, you were in the bath. Is that makeup remover? I, uh, what? <laughs> uh, more importantly, what's the matter? Sorry, I have a headache and don't think I can make dinner tonight. I'm terribly sorry, but can you go out to eat with your dad? My mom is a go get him superwoman at work, but it occasionally takes a toll on her health. So, this kind of situation is hardly a rarity. That's fine, but what will you eat? If it's just for myself, I can probably find a way to scrounge something together. Take care. Hey, G. We'll take the car, so hurry up. Dad quickly got the car ready. 
He must be hungry, he really only moves so energetically when it's time to eat. Don't we all? Sorry to keep you waiting. So where are we going to eat? Hmm... I recently found a nice store, let's go there. My dad usually only complains about things. For him to actually praise something is... unexpected. I wonder what kind of place it, it is that he'd rank it three stars. Three stars. As one who seeks the way of the gourmand, I, Keiichi Maibara, am genuinely intrigued. The headlights of the car cut through the early darkness of the Hinamizawa night, carving a straight path towards town. I was pondering where such a gem of a restaurant could be hidden away. It was shockingly the family restaurant right by the station. Dad, that great restaurant you were talking about was this? The words Angel Mort were written on a very family restaurant teak cartoonish logo. It had the air of a girl-oriented all-you-can-eat cake buffet rather than a proper restaurant. You've never been inside, Keiji? Come to think of it, I hadn't. There's been some times where I've traveled to faraway towns to eat, but returning only as far as Okonomi or Station, there was really no reason to dine out. Home was just a stone's throw away after all. I see. That was the reason I never noticed it before. We stopped the car in the restaurant's parking lot. It seems like business is booming. There's quite a few cars parked here. But what really amazes me are the license plates. There's a lot of them that can't be from this area. Fuku... Wait, Fukuyama, Nagoya, well that's fine, Chiba, Saitama. Opening up my mental geography book, I calculated how long it would have taken to get here via the major highways. <laughs> KG, it seems that you finally realized how amazing this restaurant is. What's the meaning of this? How can so many people travel from so far away just to come to this restaurant? Following my dad, I climbed the steps and entered the building. Huh. This is interesting. Uh, is it just me or is this just the same exact restaurant I saw from the previous um, game? The bell attached to the door clattered as we entered and a waitress soon greeted us. After confirming our party size and whether we wanted a smoking or non-smoking seat, she guided us inside. Dad ordered two of the daily specials. It seemed that they were ready made so there wasn't much of a wait at all until our meals were brought to us. The taste was, no offense to Dad, not so different from your run-of-the-mill family restaurant. If you're just talking about the taste, it seems like normal family restaurant fare. Who gives a damn about the taste, Keiichi? See? Isn't it great? I see. It just may be that the food here might be nothing more than average. The demographic of the customers was pretty much all young men. It may call itself a family restaurant, but there wasn't a single table with a family and yet it was packed. The parking lot was filled with cars from all corners of the country. If they didn't come from far and wide to eat this completely mediocre food, then there's only one other reason. Dad flagged down our nearby waitress. Excuse me, the dessert that comes with the meal still hasn't come yet. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Huh. We got a hot-looking lady that looks just like Mian. Interesting. There's a dessert that comes with daily combo A. I've been waiting for quite a while. Oh, it's my apologies. I'll bring it right away. The apparently rookie waitress rushed off fl flustered. Dad, could it be this restaurant is... Aren't they great? The waitress's uniforms here, I mean...
Bam. But what are you doing, Keiichi? My own father never hit me. I'm your son. Listen, Keiichi, I've never come here with impure intentions. That Bella and a Tyrante and extinct treat clothing quite a fit. It is my artistic muse. Muse. I wanted you to feel that. Even you must have yearned for this stimulation. Oh my god, haven't you? Coming here alone, though, is a bit embarrassing. You understand? That's why I dragged you here. Just blame me. Even if, if you must have condemned me, I want you to know this feeling, Keiichi. Uh, I, I need to take a leak. My father has always had a bad habit of trying to hide his embarrassment using incomprehensible nonsense as a smokescreen. I want to believe that this weirdness won't be genetic. Contu continuing his one-sided rambling, my father stood up and headed to the washroom. With him gone, I was left alone in the booth. Finally, at this time, a feeling of embarrassment welled up inside me. I had nothing to do but go beat red with shame. The waitress from before returned, her eyes alternating between the order slip and the table. Wow, this looks beautiful, alright? I'm thumbnailing this shit. Oh my god. That looks... Is this just me or this is a twin sister of me on either that? I'm continu... Yeah, I'm only 22 minutes in and I'm... I'm never regretting this ever again. <laughs> arriving... Uh, um... Arriving at my seat, she hesitantly tried to say something. A more veteran waitress offered some advice from her over her shoulder. Just calm down and say sorry for the wait. Um... Terribly sorry for the wait. Right, right, just like that. Do your best. Whispering that into her ear, the veteran waitress left. This waitress must have just been hired. With an absolute lack of confidence, she moved hesitantly and maybe even somewhat perilously. Just watching her put me on edge. I silently watched as she placed a dessert on the table with an inexperienced hand. But it's just as Dad said, what incredible uniforms these are. God damn. They were like a bunny girl plus a maid plus some sort of frilly outfit. All in a perf all in a perfect ratio. Most certainly a rather dubiously charming kind of fashion. In any case, she in no way appeared to be a proper waitress. What should I do? I was catching glimpses glimpses of too many things. That is, I didn't know where I should look. Wearing something like that walking around the restaurant, it's as bad as it can be for digestion. Even though she was wearing the outfit, this, parti this particular waitress had no idea what to do either. This flustered state, without a doubt, should be attributed to the Mount bare skin showing rather than being new to the job. Both the waitress and I mutually avoided eye contact. What a plan What a platonically embarrassing feeling this is. Platonically or plat Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm a customer, you know? It's alright to be more straightforward. Oh, my nose is starting to bleed. At that moment, our eyes just happened to meet. Both of us blinked, doubting who we were looking at. What? This is... Mayon, is that you? Eh... On top of her hair being let down, she was so far removed from her usual confidence-filled attitude. I didn't realize it was her at all. It was Mayon. Why is she here? You... Why are you working at a place like this? Uh... Ah... Uh, um... Uh, I'm helping out at my uncle's store. Come to think of it, I did hear her talk about how her relatives have stores in town and that 
he sometimes works part-time to help them. Oh, that must be a lot of work. The nervous feeling I had dissipated in an instant. Knowing that this was me, and there was no reason to feel that way. Well, actually, my animal instinct tells me that the power balance between Meon and myself has been turned upside down. That's right, I'm a customer. My position is superior to hers. The humiliation from today's penalty game was cutting through the recesses of my mind. There really is a god for him to grant me this opportunity for revenge. Noticing the flames of vengeance burning in my eyes, Meon took a step back. But seeing it like this, this type of clothing suits you very nicely, doesn't it? It's embarrassing, so don't look so much. I confirmed my pre-temptive strike was a clean hit. There is no mistaking that Meon is currently defenseless. While confirming my attack was successful, I simultaneously lined up the combo. Meon, you have pretty big breasts. It seems like they're ready to spill out even right now. All the customers are definitely looking at you. But don't say that. Don't play coy with me. I note that you enjoy drawing all the male attention with that embarrassing getup. I mean, if you didn't, there's no way you'd dress up like that. It's not like I'm doing this because I like to. Is this alright, Keiji Marbara? Aren't you taking this a little too far? Even if it's payback for that humiliation during the day, isn't this too much? Hey, shut up, Logic. To pay back me on tenfold is a chance you'll hardly ever get. Wearing this kind of getup, your mother must be disappointed. Whimper. That part's where you can almost just see something is the best. Come closer. Eek! Please stop. You still lack the spirits of service towards your customers. Please forgive me. Oh, I want to take you home. No, not that. Entering a version of Reyna's cute mode, blood spewing from my nose like a waterfall. I was going until I had no regrets. Lack the spirit of service. Oh my god. I was going... No regrets. I was going to complete this verbal humiliation plan. I mean... Revenge for today's events. Yep, I'll spare you the rest for today. Oh. It seems that Mian's neural circuits had completely shorted from the embarrassment. I might have teased her a little too much or so, I thought, but such a meek Mian is something you hardly ever see, so this was good for now. Leaving aside what exactly was good, I never knew. To think that the high and mighty Meon would have a hard time being a waitress. Whimper. Um, th that's wrong. This is such a surprising side of you. I want to show this to the Meon from this afternoon. Actually, I want to show Reyna and the others. Reyna will definitely flip out with joy. Do you think she'll say she wants to work here? Th that's wrong. I could never imagine in my wildest dreams that such a cute outfit would suit you, Mion. I'm saying that's wrong. While turning bright red, Mion finally spit out the words that were lodged in her throat. What do you mean? That's wrong. I I'm... Not Mion. Wait, what? I was taken aback at Mion's confusing words. If you're not Mion, then who are you? You're Mion Sonozaki, right? Um, I'm sorry. I should have said this earlier, but my name is Shion Sonozaki. Holy shit. Mion is my older sister. My eyes unconsciously widened with surprise from this brazenly crazy talk. Okay, okay. Okay, why in the fuck would K- 
You know, KG, you can't even tell the difference whether it's Mion or not. I don't know, but either way, you're a dick. You are a fucking dick. I, you can't even tell the fucking difference. <laughs> you could ask her name, you know? Whatever. Mion, probably thinking that there was no way such a far-fetched excuse would work, turned a bright red while fidgeting nervously. Shion? Shion Sonozaki? Y yes I'm often mistaken for my sister. But when we met, you had the kind of response that you wouldn't make if we were meeting for the first time. But that's because my sister is always talking about you, so I knew you who you were. A little bit of a cringeworthy excuse, that is. But when I looked at Mian's eyes, which begged me to believe her, the urge to tease completely subsided. To us, Mian had to be a leader who was normally overflowing with confidence, a guiding force. If I were to lash out at that Mian, I would have learned something I shouldn't have. That was something I would never wish for. So I understand. This, foolish, this foolishness here is something very different from the everyday Mion. That's why she's Shion. I see. In that case, I'm sorry. Uh, oh no, as long as you understand. My sister has a lot of enemies, you see. Well now, she's self-aware of that fat now, is she? As I unintentionally laughed aloud, Mion, no, Shion, laughed with me. Shion, is this your first time being a waitress? It doesn't seem like you're used to it. Actually, today is, um, Kei-chan is my first customer. A little flustered after saying that, she quickly asked if, if it was okay for her to refer to me the same way her sister did. Seeing that Blaintip Quirk was so cute, I couldn't stop laughing. So, you said you've worked part-time at your uncle's store before? I thought you would have been more used to it. Oh, I have other relatives that run shops. That's why this is the first time I'm helping the uncle that owns this place. I see, that makes sense. Isn't that the same way Mion said? Anybody would be tentative doing a job that they weren't used to. Does Mion ever help out at the store? Oh, my sister is, you see. She's not good with these cute sea things. I know what she's trying to say. That's right. Mion is more suited for cool things. The f what is she, a tomboy? Nah, it can't be. So I think having you help out here was the right choice. Huh? Shion asked, probably thinking she misheard me. That uniform, it would never suit somebody like Mion. But for Shion, I think it works. Huh, you mean that... Um... Shion, like Reyna often does, spaced out and turned bright red. What does that mean, exactly? At least for this moment, it felt like this Shion character actually existed. Because there was no way that the Mion I knew had this side to her. At that moment, we realized that the more veteran waitress was waving at us from across the room. Sonozaki-san, you can take your break now. Oh, okay. Mion finally returned to her senses. It seemed as if it was time for her to take her break. Well then, I'll take my leave. It was fun talking to the infamous Kei-chan. Sorry for mistaking you for Mion and tasing you. Please tell Mion that I will have my revenge one day. Ah, that thing where you were forced to dress as a maid and walk around outside, right? That devilish laugh and smile. It was exactly the same as the one I knew. Oh my god, That's, look at that look on her face! <laughs> oh, either way is same one I knew. Oh my god. That's right. Tell her that I will return to favor for the total humiliation I suffered. Bleh. More importantly, I'm going to complain to my sister about the teasing I had to endure today. My sister will have my revenge during your club activities. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Bring it on. I'll get her before she gets me. Mion laughed with a warm smile devoid of any remaining nervousness. 
and disappeared into the back. I felt like I had a very valuable experience today. Well, let's just save. I don't know. If I... If I see Mion in a maid outfit, whether if it's a twin sister or not, I don't know. It, if I see Shion, can it be my waifu, please? Okay, anyway, enough of this weird talk. So, next part, let's just see how it goes. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later, I guess. Have a good one.